Hello everyone, this is Faiza from Tailored by Faiza. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to reduce the length of any dress, uh, be it a maxi dress, any uh, any tunic or any abaya. I've got this request a lot many times that if I can make a simple tutorial on how to alter the length. So in this one, I'm taking off uh, the length by a few inches. Um, the reason why I, have, why I have chosen this particular outfit is because it has a curved hem. Uh, however, I will also be telling you how to make it straight if you are not willing to have it in this shape. So uh, this is uh, also this is open from the front. So you will also get to know how to fold from here. Um, so this is the wrong side of the outfit. As you can see, there is a seam over here and the button placket also have you can see that the buttons are over here. So this is how you are going to lay your uh, fabric. Uh, I mean, um, your outfit straight on something and then you will mark how many inches would you like to take off now let's say if your prepared length is um for example it's 52 inches then you will uh, you, the finish length that you're looking for is 52 inches then you will just add one more inch to it because you are going to be making half uh, an inch of um double fold hem so that is how you're going to calculate that you will just take one more inch um, and the rest of it, be it 6 inches, 5 inches, 2 inches, whatever it is, you'll take it off. Now, this is uh, in a curve shape, so I will tell you how to take off equally throughout this. Okay, um, so I will zoom in to show you. Okay, so now as you can see, this is the edge of it. Before you make any markings, you have to make sure that both the layers, this is the back side and it's a front open placket, so that's why it is the front side. You have to make sure that both of these layers are together. It's not like one is um, like this and one is um, ahead of it. Make sure they both are equal and then you'll make a mark. You'll have to decide that how many inches would you like to take off and then you'll take your inch tape and from the bottom of the edge, uh, from the edge you will make mark for example I would like to take two inches so I'm going to mark at two inches all the way across okay so I have equally placed the inch tape all the way across on the curve and then I've marked that equal distance that you would like to take off and then I'll cut it so this is when your uh, dress is all open there is one more way what you will do in this situation is that if you're not sure you can uh, deal with four layers together you can do it this way this is an easier way to do it there is one more way to do it i'll fold it and do it uh, and i'll show you okay so what you'll do is you'll fold from the center from the middle of the outfit like this into four layers and then you'll make sure that these all layers are together all these four layers before you make any cuts you have to make sure that these two edges are aligned these two edges the side seams over there are aligned and this over here are all this over here are all equal as well okay so once you'll do this the third thing is that you have to make sure that you have placed your outfit um, the middle of the outfit is parallel to something which is straight if you uh, I'm, I'm following this mat but if you do not have a mat you can just take a ruler and place it over there and align the outfit like so So this is the mark at two inches if you don't want this to be um if you don't want it to be really deep then you can reduce the length uh, you can add some inches from here okay so i have opened it to show you that um the shape is still over there and now I'll show you how to fold it. If you do not have a front placket or the back placket, then you don't have to worry about from where to start and where to end. Uh, you can start it anywhere. Ideally, um, we start from the back side. Uh, but if you have a placket, like in this case, then you have to start from either one of the sides. And I'll zoom in to show you how. Okay, so now I'm starting from 
one of the sides the front placket and now you have to fold it one time at half inch because remember we took one inch more than the length needed so half inch one time and one more time half inch and then you have to pin it all the way across that's what you have to do it all the way across and then make a seam on this edge right on this edge not on this one the bottom you have to sew over here okay so you have to sew over here and not over here okay uh, because you're basically sewing this to this fabric so you will be sewing over there um, while you'll be sewing you have to make sure that you don't want this placket to be visible like this okay you don't want it to look like this this is coming out so you have to make sure that when you're folding it you fold it one time and then one more time and this has to be exactly how much you fold it um, how much you uh, kept the seam allowance I kept it once so I'm folding it at half inch and then you'll pin it see now it's all equal from there okay so I have pinned it I have folded it one time half an inch and then one more time and then I have pinned it, pinned it all the way across um, I don't need to do it all the way across so I've done it uh, till the first side because I can sew um, without pinning on the desired seam allowance um, however if you are a beginner, I would highly suggest you to pin it all the way across so that you get it equally uh, hemmed. Okay, so I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'll sew on this edge, as I just said. I will sew this edge to the fabric, only this one. You'll back tack in the beginning and when you'll get over here, I'll tell you one more tip. Okay, so I have hemmed it all the way across and now I am towards the end of it, as you can see. Uh, so when you will get towards the end, you will stop uh, with about 10 inches or so and then you'll make sure you'll not sew until you fix this first. So take this end, fold it as per the seam allowance, half inch and another half inch, and then make sure that this is all inside. Okay, and then put a pin. This should not be coming out, otherwise it will not look nice. And then you will sew, um, you will sew this up. Okay, so now this is um, a dress that is usually we don't have deep curves like this one has. This is a regular one, so. It pretty much looks like that it's a straight seam it's never a straight seam most of the time I shouldn't use the word never most of the time it's not a straight seam it does have a very slight curve as you can see that curve it's like this okay so I will tell you how to do this one and uh, um, it does not have a button placket so you can start the hem from anywhere there is one thing I would like to point out over here this is not this is a brand new outfit but you can see that the hem they have made there's a curve there there are some waves over here i don't know if you can see it clearly but the reason why i'm showing you this is because i want you to i want to encourage you to do it yourself because even when we buy it from um even when we buy it from the stores they does come with these type of hems so why not to do it yourself okay so i'll fold it into half now just like i did before fold it into half and then has to be aligned with one of a line, a scale, or the edge of anything, straight from the middle. It has to be, uh, when you line it up, line it up um, from the middle, not from this side, okay? So that's how you can maintain the shape, whatever it is. And then you will take off, I'm taking off one and a half inch from here. It's not that long, so I'm not taking off two inches. Uh, I'm taking off one and a half inch, okay, from here. Now you can either mark it straight as it looks like that it's a straight thing, but it's not straight over here. So you can use, if you have this type of ruler, you can use it to shape it a little bit. Or you can just mark it the way you did. That way you will get the exact shape again. Or you can, uh, for example, I've taken one and a half inch here. Over here, you will take quarter inch less than that.
again you can um, use the uh, use the inch tape to mark it individually at all the spots but um, to keep this shape all you need to do is whatever the distance over here is you have to make it quarter inch more than that on the side seams that's how you get this shape okay i repeat whatever the distance you take over here what, for example you're marking at one inch over here you'll take less than one inch so maybe uh, more than one inch i'm sorry so maybe one and a half inch and that way you will get this shape okay now i'm going to cut it and then we'll hem it Okay, now you can see there is a slight shape over here and still it's it looks like a straight uh, dress when you'll be wearing it and now to hem this one since it does not have a placket you can hem it from anywhere you'll fold it one time exact same way you'll fold it towards the wrong side of the fabric one time and then one more time and then sew on this edge okay Okay, so this is the finished look. They are both of these are altered now, um, and you can see that the shape is all maintained. This is a deep curve one, and that is the one that has a very slight shape, but it does look straight. Uh, so now you know how to do both of these, and I hope this video is going to help you. Uh, please like and share my videos, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have a bunch of videos coming up. Thank you.